Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License for take number three. <laughs> for everyone that's watching the VOD on YouTube, um, we keep dropping frames. We keep having camera issues. We have started the stream three times now. I'm watching it right now to see if we're still dropping too many frames. <laughs> I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, whatever. Let's do the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be playing some Final Fantasy X and we are going to be getting started on some optional bosses. Finally, right? Finally. It looks fine now. Fabulous. The stats say it looks fine too. I'm looking at my stat screen. It looks, it looks normal. It looks like what it normally looks like for me. So please hold. Please hold computer. It was my computer that was the problem. It was not Twitch um, BT dubs for all of this. So I can't blame Twitch. I wish I could. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be playing some Final Fantasy X. We're going to be doing some optional bosses. Welcome in Kendra. Welcome in Koneko. Because we had so many false starts. Y'all both got first today. <laughs> Perks of being here early, y'all. You got to come early. You got to come early if you want to see the shenanigans. Um... <laughs> Why don't we get started with our quiz? Here we go. I have watched the first two episodes of the new season of Stranger Things. Enjoying it. Okay. I have some criticisms, but I've only watched two episodes. So I'm, I'm holding them. I'm holding them till I watch a little bit more, at least what all of what's out. We're going to find out who our Stranger Things boyfriend is. Okay. So no spoilers for the latest season, please. Hopefully this quiz doesn't have too many spoilers, or if it does, hopefully they're, you know, not consequential spoilers or ones that are fine anyway. Because um, as you know, I think if spoilers ruin something, then it probably wasn't that good to begin with. So there we go. I know nothing about Stranger Things, so I'll be sitting this one out. <laughs> well, we might still need to know your Stranger Things boyfriend, Koneko. Let's see if the questions are even about Stranger Things. You're sneaking through a dark and narrow tunnel. Which position do you take in line? Very front, second, somewhere in the middle, dead last, I ran. I mean, if all my other friends are going in too, I'm probably going in, so I think somewhere in the middle. Yeah, same, I cannot scary. The first episode actually at the end did have a part that was like really freaky. It was really freaky. Pick a weapon, gun, bat, machete, these fists. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. If that is an option, I will hide. What color is your hair? Blonde, brunette, red, black, dyed, bald. Um... Would you guys say brunette is kind of like a light brown? Definitely in the camera right now, it looks light brown. I can make it look red with certain settings. I think brunette probably, but I'm not, I'm not like a dark brunette. Anyway, whatever. Which Stranger Things girl do you relate to the most? Nancy, Robin, Joyce, Max, Eleven, Eden, Chrissy, Will, sorry. <laughs> Will's not a girl, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. I found it. Which Stranger Things girly do you relate to? Apparently, Will's a girly to this person. I can understand that. Um, Probably Joyce. Probably Joyce. She's quite overwhelmed all the time. She's doing her best. Fave 80s movie. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Goonies, E.T., Misery, Stand By Me, The Shining. None of these. <sighs> Probably... Probably Ferris Bueller's Day Off would be my favorite out of this list. I mean, I like all these movies, so I don't want to say none of these. And I don't know if I have like a quote unquote fave 80s movie. I don't know. So we're going to say Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a good one. Pick a date spot. Okay, we're going to pick a date spot. Hot tub, cinema, nice park, the upside down. <laughs> Home movie, hot boxing, a van. Yeah. Um, cinema for sure. Labyrinth. Labyrinth is an excellent one. Um, I would understand. Pick. Okay, we're going to pick submissive and breedable, submissive and infertile, dominant and breedable, dominant and infertile. I have never heard and infertile. This is the first time I'm, I'm like hearing that. So I'm a little unsure about what that means in the meme world. But I think. Where is the switch option? That's a good question, Koneko. Where's the switch option, quiz maker? I think I'm submissive and infertile. I think. I don't know. That's what I'm picking. If you had powers, what would they be? Invisibility, whatever Eleven has going on, teleportation, immortal, super strength, speed, time travel. Immortal. No, teleportation. That's what I meant to say. Teleportation. Because I'm constantly talking about, like, why hasn't anyone invented teleportation yet? Anytime I have to go anywhere. 
because I don't want to I don't want to travel. I just want to be there. Teleportation. Pick introvert, extrovert, ambivert, little Uzi vert. What is this? What is little Uzi? What is little Uzi? I don't know this one. Introvert. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Stereotypical school click would you be in? Outcast, nerds, popular stoners, nerds, I would say. Although when I was in high school, I was, I don't know if I was in like, clicks are not that like strictly defined in real life. So yeah, but nerds, I think is probably the closest. Um, will you join Pun Punacious Nation? I guess this comes, I don't know what this is. I guess this comes later in the show. Teleportation exists, but it takes forever. Exactly, Koneko. I want instant. I want that light speed there. That's what I want. You're Steve. You got Steve. You're probably smart and witty and very lucky. Steve is a cool guy. Okay. I definitely think that, okay, let's see who the options are. We got Steve, Mike, Hopper, Jonathan, Billy, Lucas. This man, I didn't get it, so I can't see. Argyle, Eddie. This is a new character, so I don't really know much about him. I guess out of all of these, Steve would be who I prefer, although that's who apparently who most people get, so, you know, you know. I'm not mad at this. I like Steve, but everybody likes Steve in 29%, so this quiz is very nice. This quiz is very nice. All right, you guys, it's time to switch over to the game. Um, my, uh, the exposure is still wrong. It's set to auto. I can tell. I can tell the exposure is set to auto. That's not what it's supposed to be set to. But I'm scared if I change it now, then I'm going to drop frames again. So we're not going to bother. We're going to let the exposure stay on auto. So if I get like brighter and darker, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want that for us, but I think we might have to deal with it. Let's get to the game, you guys. Y'all hear that music? Y'all hear that music? Boom, game time. Here we go. Okay. So, wow. Wow, it's finally time to do some optional bosses, you guys. So, we're gonna talk to this guy a bunch of times because we're gonna get our items because he's been researching more things from us being in the Omega Dungeon. No, not right now. Stream is trying to pay you an exposure. Oh, it better stop. It better stop. No one wants to get paid an exposure. No one wants that, Twitch. My gosh. All right, golden hourglass. We got lots of cool things. We got lots of cool things. Okay. Yes. Yes. We gotta talk to him a few more times until we get all the, to get the dark matters. Stamina Springs, okay. No, not now. We're unlocking all the rest of the monsters that he made for us. What? <gasps> what? <gasps> Lunar! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for the tier 2 subscription! I really appreciate it! Oh my gosh, you've been my OG subscriber for five ever. Um, I love you so much. Thank you. Um, I see that my alerts are still all Slytherin-y from Harry Potter last week. I wasn't didn't want to change them because I figured like the chances of one popping up this stream was pretty low and I was like, I'll just keep them because we need them again on Saturday. But um, but yeah, thank you so much. I'm sorry it wasn't a picture of Queen <laughs> like it normally is. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, you're awesome, Lunar. I love you so much. All right, exit. We still haven't got the Dark Matters. This is a fabulous day. Come on, kiddo, help me celebrate. Dark matters. That is what we want. What we really, really want. No, we do not want to fight that. Okay. Yes, I understand. Um, go away. Okay. So we need to go into our equipment. And we are done with these. We are done with these. We need to instead equip our fancy celestial weapons that we've got for everybody. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna equip all of those. I'm a survivor. Okay. Um, let's see. Spirit Lance. We want Onion Knight. We want, yep, okay, we've got them all. Okay, so we need to create what's called some ribbon armors. So those are very fancy armors 
Ribbon is an ability that's going to keep us from getting a lot of um, a lot of status effects on us. So remember how we went and bought Tetra armors and then like sold um, a bunch of our stuff and just used that? So we're going to start to kind of do some of that. All right. So let's go ahead and board the airship. And we're going to go back to the middle of the calm lands. And we're going to go buy some more Tetra armors. Yeeha! Here we go. Um, Swirlix. I love Swirlix. I love Alcremi, though. Let's see. Can I poke a catch? Am I too late? Okay, hopefully it will put me in the running. Yes, I would like to ride. Okay, we're going to go get more Tetra armors, and we're going to sell almost all of the armor and weapons that we ended up getting as drops when we were hunting stuff in the Omega Ruins. So that's the next step. Yeah. So what have you guys been doing um, recently this weekend or anything, because or coming up on the weekend coming up? Um... We've been watching a lot of TV shows because it's hot as fuck. I don't know if you've noticed, but at least around here, I know I might be I might be a little glowing a little bit. That might be the lighting because I really didn't go fix it too bad. It might also be sweat. I might be greasy because it is hot outside. Um, it's like you step into an oven. Got a role play event. What's the event, Lunar? Tell us about it. I am curious to hear. Okay, so let me go into my equipment. I think I have, yeah, I have a Tetra Bracer for him already, but I need it for everybody else. We need armors. Okay, we're gonna buy a Tetra Shield. Yes, we're gonna buy a Tetra Ring. We're gonna buy a Tetra Arm Guard, Tetra Bangle, Tetra Armlet. Oh, we have that. We're gonna buy a Tetra Targe. Okay. And then we're gonna sell basically everything. We do not need this stuff. It is useless to us. We're gonna, well, piercing in one MP cost. We're gonna keep that. We don't need his Beastmasters. We don't need this. We don't need these. We don't need this. We don't need his catchers. But we're gonna keep off season for no encounters. Don't need Trapper Mog. Don't need that. We don't need that. We're gonna keep Survivor because Alchemy is awesome. And we're gonna use it in a second. Um, we don't need this. We definitely don't need any of this down here. I'm just glancing over at the abilities, okay. So we're done with that. Let's go into our equipment. No, we want to go into items because I want to organize. All right, sort. We're going to sort that too. Okay, sort both. I've been playing Neo. The world ends with you a lot. Not much else I can do with the big C. Yeah, that's true, Kaneko. I think even found it hard to play video games when I was really bad. Finish my first embroidery. I saw that! It looks so cute. You did a little unicorn? I was like, what? Oh my gosh. Um, did you know that I actually cross-stitched a little bit as a kid? Um, it was like a hobby I had picked up. Um, that, um, And I made a few cross-stitches uh, over the years. Now, I didn't keep up with the hobby. It wasn't really for me. But like, my mom knows how to cross-stitch. So, um, I learned how to cross stitch too. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Do we want to, how many, we need like a bunch more key spheres. Okay. We only have two level two key spheres, but I guess we can go ahead and unlock that. Let's send him over here. Let's send him over here. Optional boss time. Just send motto everything. I don't send motto very often. I don't send motto very often. 
but you're right, you can. <laughs> uh, let's use that. Um, every other month they have a party this Saturday. It's a Midsummer's Eve celebration. <gasps> oh, that sounds so fun. Since our site-wide plot is a war, I'm sure something big is going to happen. The admin and mod of Minimod told me to make sure to have Haley logged on and ready. So I'm expecting something. We always used to throw in shenanigans at parties too. <laughs> Like it wasn't a party if something terrible didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta, that's how you do in the RP events. If it's a party, you gotta have some party crashers. Um, what's this ability over here? It's probably a Riku ability. Pilfer Gil. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna get Auron Riku's ability. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, the unicorn's a pre-made pattern, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. I have another pre-made pattern I want to finish, then I want to do some fandom thing. Um, I always use, I'd use pre-made patterns the times that I did it. I, I never made it to a point of like doing my own thing. It was all pre-made patterns. Um, but it was fun. It was like an, it was nice and relaxing. You know, I just didn't, I just didn't grab me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I tried it and I made a few things. I made a few things. I remember I did one of a little guinea pig and I did a couple samplers. Um, that's what I remember basically that I did. Okay, I don't necessarily think I want to take Waka down to get more magic. There's like no point, I think, kind of. What's this up here? Copycat. Well, he can come up here and get Copycat. Like, why not? That's fine. Very valid. Yeah, it's not for everyone. You know, it's, but it, I mean, it is like a, a nice, relaxing hobby. So, I mean, I think I could get into it. It just, it didn't grab me for whatever reason. I was a kid at the time also. So, you know, who the heck knows? Who in the heck knows? What's this? Mug. Okay. You can go down this way. That's fine, Waka. That's fine. Um, We also get to see who won the character award, so I'm excited about that. Oh, oh, that's cool. I, well, I hope you win something. I hope Haley wins something. Um, That would be really cool for her. You're going to keep me company while I do the most boring sewing ever. I hate hemming. Oh my god. Kendra, can you hem stuff for me? As you know, as a fellow shorty short short person, um, hemming sometimes you must, and it is the worst. I'm really bad at it, and it's really boring. Um, <laughs> but yes, I have hemmed many a garment in my lifetime uh, due to being a short king. <laughs> I'm sure you're hemming for a similar reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, who is it about the optional bosses, Zanmato? Okay. Oh. Brando, I want to call you something, but I have no idea how to say your name. So our, our, friend, our new first time chatter with the six in his name, if you could tell me what I should call you, um, I would love to talk, but I just, I don't know how to address you, my friend. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to address you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... But uh, but yeah, you can Zen motto everything. But I tend to I, I I don't I don't necessarily want to do all that. You know what I mean? I like to do things the hard way. Um, <laughs> I like to do things like the hard way, like my own specific way. I've played this game many many times, so I just you know I have my ways of wanting to do things. All right. Anyways, let's customize. We're gonna add to all of these to all of these new um, armors that we got. We are going to add in Auto Phoenix. Everybody's going to have Auto Phoenix. That's a really good ability to have on your armors. So we are going to do it. Oh, somehow I still have that. I need to sell that. Oh, and a glorious ring. I don't know why I have that. We'll sell those in a second. I guess I just didn't scroll down enough or I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, we're going to put Auto Phoenix on this Tetra ring. This Tetra Bracer. I think we almost have enough Auto Phoenixes to give it to everybody. So I'll show you guys what we're going to do to get a few more Auto Phoenixes next. So Auto Phoenix, yes. I have a Glorious Bracer too. I don't need that. Oh, I put the... <laughs> Shoot. I put... <laughs> he has the wrong one on there. Anyway, let's fix that. Oren. Put on your Phoenix Bracer. He has two Tetra Bracers. Let me sell these extras. Got any weapons? We're gonna sell. We don't need you, Impasse. We don't need you, Glorious Ring. We do want to keep that. 
We don't need the extra Tetra Bracer or the Glorious Bracer. We don't need the Heat Lance. We don't need Glorious Armlet. And there was a bunch more. I was not paying attention. Oh, All Rounder. Oh, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Why not? Off season, we'll keep that. Chronos Cave, we don't need that. We want that. We don't need these Devastators. We don't need a Glorious Targe. Okay. <clears throat> Let's organize again. There we go. Now we should. Now it should be easier. Welcome. Oh, Welcome. I didn't want to talk to you. Sorry, wants. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean I don't want to talk to you. I just mean, like, not right this second. Okay. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Making everybody's Tetris into Phoenixes. Um, I'm only hemming the curtains for my old boss because I love her. Fingers... Oh, yeah. Aw, uh, you must love your old boss. That's at the, um, at the hotel. She must be really cool if you're hemming for her. Um, it's very boring and annoying. <laughs> um, Haley was nominated for a few. I'll let you know if she wins. Yes! Please do. I am very curious. I would love to know if she wins any of her awards. Okay, Auto Phoenix on you too. Okay, we ran out. We ran out. So we need to, we have one, two, three more that we need to put Auto Phoenix on. We didn't make it. Okay, one other thing I want to do is on this Survivor, I want to put Gillionaire. And when we have this equipped to Riku, she is going to get us lots more gill. It's going to double gill. So you see it's changed to sticky fingers. Okay, so we actually want to equip Riku with some sticky fingers. Because we're going to need some money, money, honey. We need some money, honey. Okay, so now I don't think we have enough of the other items to do much. Let me see. Let's do... Thinking about how I want to do this. Let's customize, let's look at the at Orins. So the other things we want to put on this armor is gonna be um, Auto Haste, which we need to farm Chocobo Wings for. It would also be good to have Auto Protect. We need to farm Light Curtains for that. And then we want the OP ability, which you have to get 99 Dark Matters, which we just got. So we can put one of these armors to ribbon armor, but we have to farm for the rest. Now these are almost impossible to farm. There are methods for it, but basically you have to fight these optional bosses over and over. So we'll see how many actual like ribbon armors we end up with. Okay, but we're gonna put it on Orin's. We're gonna put it on Orin's. Okay, so Orin now has ribbon armor and we need to farm items to improve this armor for everybody else. So. Let's get back on to our airship. We're gonna board the airship, okay. And guess what? We're gonna go back to the calm lands. <laughs> we keep going back up and back down to the calm lands. I know. But the best way to farm for um, Mega Phoenix is to put on Auto Phoenix is to go bribe ghosts in the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. So we need to do um, formation and we need to get Riku in here. So we'll do, we'll do um, these guys. I can't remember if when you bribe them, if you still get experience or not. And Lulu needs some experience. So that's why I put her in, but I just can't freaking remember. So let's go. I'm thinking you don't get experience when you bribe. So we're going to go over to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith and we're going to look for some ghosts. Spooky. So we've been watching a lot of TV lately because I feel like all of a sudden there's like TV everyone's watching again. Whereas for like the duration of the pandemic, there was like, there was no TV. It was like, where's the shows? Where's the zeitgeist? shows where's where's the shows that i'm interested in but anyway right now we're watching stranger things we're watching um uh, obi-wan the new obi-wan show loved kid leia she's amazing love her so much and um what's the other show that we're watching there's a third one and now i can't remember it oh it's gonna drive me crazy 
It's Stranger Things, the new Obi-Wan show. And what else is going on right now? I can't remember. Um, you can steal. Why not? And we need to flee. I will go so easy on you next What's the third time? show that we're watching? There's like three shows that we're watching in rotation right now. And I cannot freaking remember what the third one is. Oh no, bitch. Oh no, bitch. Goodbye. I will go so easy on you next time. That's right. Because there won't be a next time. Because those things are annoying AF. Alright, ghost should be a little bit farther in. Around maybe this area. No. That's a pot. I'll be right back. So we're looking for ghosts. And if you bribe them... With 250,000 gil, you can get, like, 30-something Mega Phoenixes. So we need to do that, like, two to three times. I'll be right back. Lulu's just chilling. Like, why do you keep making me run in my belt skirt? It's not fair. It's not right. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Why aren't you giving me ghosts? Give up the ghost game. I think we only have to do this like two or three times. Live and let live. Sure, live and let live. That's fine. There's a ghost. Karen, the stream gave up the ghost twice today. Are you sure you want the game to do the same thing? Oh my god, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Ah, why did I say that? Why am I cursing myself? Okay, so we're going to do bribe. And we're going to give him a shit fuck ton of money. This is what he wants, what he really, really wants. So we give him... Oh no, this is wrong. Yeah, this amount. This amount. We give him this amount, he should give us a whole bunch of Mega Phoenixes. Everything still looks good in my stats, by the way. Yeah, so there we go, 35 Mega Phoenixes. So let's get a few more. This seemed like a good ghost spot. Oh no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. At least the Malbros in here don't have first strike the way they do in Omega Dungeon. So at least I can run away. But oh my god. Oh my god. So annoying. Oh no. Don't steal. Um, Does she have flea? No. Whatever. I just won't have her attack. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So easy on you next time. It's not worth it. <clears throat> oh, another TV show related thing. So a, a while back, like when it first came out, I watched the first three episodes of that um, Our Flag Means Death, the gay pirate show. And so I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was like really super boring. <laughs> it was like really super boring. I'm sorry. Like the first thing is so slow. It takes forever. But I went back and I started with um, episode four and five this time. And, um, oh, there's another one. Fabulous. Um, and I'm, I kind of, episode four and five are way better. Like this show took forever to get going, but now that it's, that I'm like, I watched a little bit more, I kind of like it. I see what you guys like about it. Oh my gosh. I keep doing this wrong. It's the five goes here. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's right. Yes. Okay. We're going to bribe him again. Um, so I've, I'm about halfway through now and I finally had some episodes I liked. So I think I'm going to keep watching that. So then I'll be caught up on that show that everybody's on Twitter is talking about. And I'll know all those things. Okay, so let's go to our customize. And we'll go down. Did we do this one? Phoenix armlet. Okay, touch your arm guard. 
let's put some auto phoenix on this. It does there's not a faster way to scroll down by the way. I always try to like use the right stick if that's is that if it as if that's going to like page down and it won't do it. You just have to like scroll scroll scroll. <laughs> Very annoying. Okay. Do I have enough to put this on Riku's too? Do we get enough of these? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we only had to do it twice. Okay. So now everybody's got Auto Phoenix. So what that means now is I do not need to waste turns with reviving my peeps. So that is going to be very, very useful for beating optional bosses. Um, because now revives will just happen so long as I have Phoenix Downs in my inventory. So very handy. Like that. Thank you, Lulu, for demonstrating. <laughs> it's nice when you can follow up an explanation immediately with a demo. So I appreciate you, Lulu. <clears throat> and since you guys did this to me, um, I feel like you have to die now. So, yeah. Let's kill them. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do it like that. Whatever. Does this do anything? Oh yeah, that kills him. Okay, come here, Orin. Oh no, Waka, that's fine. I meant to get Orin, but that's okay. Um, Kamari, come here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Shouldn't have attacked me. I mean, they shouldn't have attacked me, right? Oh, we're going this way. If they wouldn't have got the jump on me like that, I would have just ran away, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm not a vengeful person. I'm not. You know? Bye. <clears throat> All right, we Audi 5000. So to farm the next item, chocobo wings for... Um, Auto haste. Guess where we have to go? We have to go to the Omega Ruins. We thought we were done with it. We're not done with it. We're not done with the Omega Ruins. <laughs> so we have to bribe the um, Makea in there to get Chocobo Wings. And we don't have any Chocobo Wings, really. So we got to do We're going to have to do it a bunch of times, which is why I put the Gillionaire on Riku so we can farm Gil in there as well. So we're going to spend a little bit of time doing that and we're going to kind of see how that goes. And regardless of where we are after a little while, I'm going to go ahead and start fighting some of the optional bosses in the arena. Do do roosters wear shoes? I don't know. Um, Astraides, do roosters wear shoes? Can you tell me? Okay, we're going to save. Oh no, Omega Ruins again. I know. I know, my friend. I know. Um... Let's get in formation. Okay, ladies. Um, let's do that. And let's do, let's put Or in there. Okay. No, I really want Lulu to level up more. She's like, I feel like she's so behind compared to my other peeps. Okay. Here we go. Makaya, Makaya, Makaya. Um, so we can go ahead, we'll kill that. And I'm gonna have her. So, okay, so these guys right here, the chests, the mimics, they give the most money. So we definitely want to steal from them so they turn into mimics and then we can kill them. <clears throat> and this is probably the best way to farm money is to put Gillionaire on Riku. And then, oh no, that didn't do like any magic damage. It's to put Gillionaire on Riku and then go and kill Mimics. <clears throat> um, Orin, come here. Do some damage. Okay, that's really good. Um, you know, why don't you come heal Lulu? 
It'll help you get some experience as well. Yeah, Omega Ruins. You think, just when you think you're done with this place, but it's not done with you. It's not done with you. <clears throat> you want to farm Gil? You gotta come back here. There's certain things you can bribe here where you can get really good items. So, like, it's worth it to come back. It's worth it to come back. So it was good that we encountered one of those because now we got some more Gil. So we're really hunting for these guys as well as um, Makea. The Makeas are the things that have like the four, the four like spindly legs that come down. So that's what we're looking for here. All right, Riku, come awaken, come awaken the mimic. Oh, wrong thing. I want, I want to just steal. Yeah. At least she got a mega potion. Did you get something? Oh, it was because it was a real chest. Because it was a real chest. Here, go bonk him. Aw, oh, that's okay. That's okay, Yuna. Next time. Next time. So it's a little sad that was a real chest. We don't get a lot of money for those. But at least her gillionaire doubles whatever money we get. Ooh, a ghost. <clears throat> I'm trying to see... Yeah, the auto protects, we need to do a different thing to get those, so. Um, is it worth even trying to kill this guy? Oh, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth so it. You next time. Whatever you say, Titus, whatever you say. Yeah, it's not worth it to worry about killing the ghost. Welcome back, Koneko. I don't think you missed much. I don't think you missed much. We're trying to farm Gil and some items um, so that we can get some auto haste. I'm trying to find at least a couple of Makea, um to show you guys about bribing them. And we're going to have to do it a whole bunch of times. So I really don't know how long that, that bit is going to take. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I do promise uh, at least a few of the optional boss battles will happen this stream. Because the first ones that you fight aren't quite as um, challenging, so... I'll be right back. We can definitely do them. At least the first one I know we can beat without issue. Even without redoing much of our armor. Alright, is this a mimic or is this a chest? It's a mimic. Yay. More gil. I love how the the mimics in this game, they're like different depending um, on a lot of factors. Like you can see how it kind of looks like like the outline of a certain, you know, monster. And there's ones that will look like outlines of like the flying monsters or like the big long monsters um, or Malbros. Like they can take the form of lots of different of like the monster shapes we have seen. And um what things they will like block and stuff will mimic <laughs> the monster they've taken the shape of. So it's really interesting. Okay, did everyone get a chance to attack? I don't think Yuna did. Yuna, come here. You can, um, you can mug him, I guess. Oh, but there's nothing to steal. Oh, well. Oh, no. Oh, but we have auto Phoenix. Duh, so it don't matter. It don't matter. Come back, Titus. And then Orin. We're just gonna bust him up. Bust him up. I guess I should armor break him, because he's taking forever. Yeah, he's taking way forever. There he goes, finally. You can see, like, you get a ton of gill from killing the mimics with Riku having gillionaire. It's a lot, a lot. Come on, where's the Makea? Where's the Makea? Can you hit it? No, you can't hit it. Do 
Jeez, poor Lulu. Poor Lulu. <laughs> Uh, come here, Riku. Steal from the chest. Let's see if it's real. It's a mimic. Good. Because you get more money from them. So you can see how, like, it looks like one of those one monsters. Like, it's kind of, like, vague, but you can, like, see the outline of it. I think that's really neat. Yay, so we like don't waste turns. We don't waste turns with dying anymore. Mm, no, you can, let's see. Let's have him armor break. Yeah. Oh, wow, that didn't do anything. Thanks, Kimari. So next week, I will tell you guys, I think stream is still happening as normal. But um, I did get invited to a work conference that I'm going to go to. And the conference is over at, like, part of the day on Thursday. So I should be driving back Thursday afternoon and be home by 6, so we can start the stream at 6.30 as normal. But I'm not 100% sure that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, you never know. So I'm not 100% sure that's exactly what's going to happen. So stream might get moved to another day. It might start a little late on thir next Thursday. So I'm a little unsure right now what I want to do. I will keep you guys um, updated so that you know what's going on um, and if we plan to do stream at normal time or not, but I'm a little unsure right now. Okay, Mimic or Chest? Mimic. Oh, that was good damage. All right, Waka, kill this thing. Oh. I can't believe it. I know, right? How dare I? So rude of me. <laughs> so rude. But I think it's going to work out just fine. I just don't know. Like, the conference might be actually, like, really taxing and I'm just too exhausted. You know what I mean? Like, something like that could happen. Where it's like, I'm here and I could... Just come stream, but I'm just like, I don't want to. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's the plan. I'm going to try. I'm going to see how it goes. But I think I won't really know until, you know, sometime on Thursday. Whether the stream's really happening it, as normal or not. It'll be one of those kind of situations. So we shall see. Kendra, if I, if I send you garments, um, will you hem them for me? I'll do the pinning so you can see where to hem them. Um, you just need to do the hemming. Is that fair? Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for the Lurk Lunar. I really appreciate it. We love our lurkers here. Man, we're racking up on the money, but like... We're not racking up on the items. We need Makayas gonna save. I don't love you enough to do anything without cash money. Use hem tape. Wow! <gasps> you stabbed me in the heart, Kendra. <laughs> Straight to the heart. I'll be right back. No reason to fight those Varunas. We need Makayas. Come to me. Come to me. I'm getting paid for this. Oh, I didn't realize that was part of the deal. Nice. So it's not love. So it's not you love your boss. It's you think your ex-boss is okay and you love money. Like, let's be real, right? Oh, 
I killed him way too fast. I didn't even get to check if that chest was a mimic or not. Oops. There's no reason to fight these guys. We can run. Well, I guess if somebody paid me, I'd be more willing to him, you know? <laughs> that definitely changes things, you know? I do love her, but... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I meant to flee. I do love her, but I don't have for anyone that cash money and the love of the human. Normally, I say no. Well, yeah, because it's boring and tedious and difficult to make the line straight. <laughs> there we go, Makayas, and we've... <coughs> excuse me. We've got two of them. Okay, so here we go. We are going to bribe them... The amount that we want to do is um, going to be 36. I'm just checking my notes. Yeah, 36. Okay. So we have enough money to bribe both of them. Fabulous. <gasps> oh, no. We just wasted our money. Well, now you got to die. Now you guys to die. We'll try to bribe your friend. Um, we'll try to bribe your friend. <gasps> Thank you, Kendra. It is Rip. There we go. Worked on one. Worked on one. Um... She's got 84 inch drapes and wants them half that. Whoa. Holy crapola. Um, this looks fun. What console is it on console? It's on, it's definitely on console, but I am currently playing on PC. Um, but you, this game was originally released for the PlayStation 2. Uh, and it's been re released again and again in several other iterations. I'm Voodoo, been following for a while, but never chat that much. I do remember you. I do remember you coming into another stream, Voodoo. Um, but I can't remember which stream it was. It was probably an, another Final Fantasy X stream, but I just don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do remember your name. Yes. Let's see. Um, oh, we need Titus to run away. Live and let live. Goodbye. Okay, let's get back to the save point. I was hoping to do two bribes, but it just did not work out. Okay, we're going to be not stupid this time. And we're going to steal first. Okay, good. Another mimic. <clears throat> so we try to get our money back up. Oh, that did nothing. Alright, come here, Oren. Come out with the big guns. Let's see if we can um, armor break him. If I would click on skill instead of special every freaking time, <laughs> armor break. Let's go. Immune. Alright, come here, Titus. We're just going to get everyone in on it. So everybody gets a little experience. And we'll just basically let, let Orin kill it. Yeah. Get him, Kamari. Oh, Yuna's dress was blocking it. Ah, uh, almost. Oh no, 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 he's running away. Where There is no reason to bother with these guys. Let's get out of here. Goodbye! I won't go so easy on you next time. Okay. So, if we go now to our customization, 
let's see if we can, if we got enough to at least do auto haste on one of our guys. I don't know if we did. We didn't. So we got to do it at least one more time. We have 66 chocobo wings right now. How many do we need for auto haste? Maybe 99. Many choco bowings for auto haste. You need 80. You need 80. And how much gill do we have? Excuse me, we're back up to 63,000 and we need 360,000. And it's 730. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna do our sphere grid. And then we're gonna try go try to fight some of the optional bosses. With just the auto phoenix on. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay, let's take you up here. Let's get Copycat. And let's move back down this way. All right, where'd it go? Let's go up here. Yeehaw! Mm, yeah, this way, this way. All right, have a good rest of your evening, Koneko. I hope you sleep well, and I will see you next week. <clears throat> okay. Waka got a lot of spheres, that's good. Do we have enough level 4 spears to finally get into here and unlock full life? Because Yuna could use that if we could unlock it. Alright, we'll go up here. Pull for Gil. Okay. Then let's move him back. Oh, what's this ability? Oh, that's that copycat everybody else is getting. Um, okay. Let's move you down this way. And we'll just go down there. Okay. Poor Lulu. She's so behind compared to everybody else. I just neglected the heck out of her um, when I started doing the optional stuff. Because I couldn't use her to capture. Not really. So she never got... This is over here. Um, flare. She never got flare. Poor thing. Okay. Yes. Um, actually... I really do need to... I really would love to get her flare. Let's do this. Let's make a party. I want to get our flare before we go fight optional bosses. I lied. Sorry, guys. I lied. Okay. All right. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do Titus, Lulu, and Riku. We're going to fight a few more things. We're going to get Lulu some sphere points. Let's do... Let's do that on the Mimic. And then let's get Yuna in here to fix that stone. Sorry, Riku. I know you might have been happy stoned, but we can't have it. We can't have it. We need you alive and active. All right, come here, Waka. And Kamari needs to go, because he hasn't yet. Why not? Oh. 
Lulu, you unfortunately didn't do very much damage to this Mimic, so we're going to bring Waka back in. Was that Lulu at the bottom? No, it was Riku. Okay, let's put the formation back. Here we go. <clears throat> Don't worry, Lulu. We're gonna get this for you. We're gonna get this. Um... Healing water. Nice. Okay. Oh, do you have... No, I guess not. I thought maybe my Titus had armor break, but no. Let's do... <laughs> Let's do mental break. So then Lulu can do some damage. And this guy does mostly fire. So water, probably. Or ice, I mean. Alright. Let's let some others attack, because why not? Mm, come here, Waka. I'm pretty sure you can do armor break. There it is. I just didn't scroll down enough. Okay, now he's armor broken. I can't remember if Titus took a turn. Oh, but we should have Yuna come and heal. There we go. And I don't have my fireproof armor anymore, so the breath actually does stuff to me. So sad, so sad. All right, come back, Orin. Let's beat him up. There we go. Overkill. Love to see those overkills. Okay, everybody got a little bit. Um, let's see. You're good. Okay, she needs like three more. These fights are taking a long time though. I don't know, I'm regretting this. I'm regretting this and I'm thinking like, gosh, maybe I should just go fight something. I know she doesn't have flair, but that's okay. That's okay. I know we can beat them without it. I just think it's, it's like a really good spell. It's a really good spell. But I don't want to fight a ghost. Not right now. Okay, anyway. Let's do what I was originally planning. I, I told you right to begin with. We're gonna go fight some optional bosses. So, we're gonna start. The easiest optional bosses in the game are the optional bosses in the monster arena. So we're gonna go to the monster arena and we're gonna start with the area conquests. So the area conquests in the monster arena is the monsters that you unlock, that he creates, as a amalgamation of the monsters that you find in a certain area. So like when you have um, captured a certain amount of every monster in a specific area, he will make an area conquest. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys what that means. We're going to do one of them. So we're going to do that extra little bit of sphere grid that we just did. Sorry, this was not very efficient because I thought for a second like, wouldn't that be cool if I go and get her a little bit more? But ultimately, I changed my mind. So it looks like we don't quite have enough to get in here, but that's okay. We'll get more level 4 sphere grids at this point. Hmm. <clears throat> no. We do want to use that, and then we want to go up and get those spheres. And then we'll 
go up. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, um, Rysoed. Welcome into the stream. Um, my name is Karen Terry. If you could not tell by my username. <laughs> On Thursdays, we uh, play games. I like to play a lot of cozy games and RPGs and things like that. Um, on Saturdays when we stream, we have more of a podcast style stream. So that's a little bit about what I do here. I'm so um, I'm so glad you found me and followed. Okay, so we saved. We're gonna run in circles. Okay, let's go. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight monsters. All right, so if we come down here to area conquest, we these are all the different ones. So like it starts at the top, right? So Strato Strato Avis. This one, I'm pretty sure he makes from Bissade, and it kind of just goes down like that. Okay, so this is the easiest one, and they go in order of easiest, kind of, sort of. Okay, we're going to try him. <sighs> Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, let's find out. Um, We're going to energy rain him. Why the heck not? Oh, first try. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to switch Riku's weapon. She still has the Gillionaire. Oh, well, I guess it could be worse. I definitely want to steal from all these things. Um, Let's do... Let's do some Fyraga. I want to try to get everyone in here, of course, so they can get the sweet, sweet experience. Uh, come here, Waka. I think he can be armor breaked. Well, he's the screen kind of cut off the top, but I think it worked. All right, come here, Kamari. Ah. Mm, who hasn't gone? Yuna hasn't done anything. Let's make sure she gets in here. And just like when we fought things with this model before, once it gets low on health, it will, like, descend to the ground. So then you know you're getting it. You're getting it real good. Da na na na. Da na. Da na. <clears throat> okay. Charging. Alright. Do I want to? Let's do an overdrive. We're going to try attack reels. Okay. Can I do it? Haha. -ha. I think I'm getting better at attack reels. I'm usually, I, like, I wasn't very good at them when we first unlocked them, but I feel like because we've been playing this, I've been practicing. We'll do Orange Overdrive too, why the heck not? Okay, is anybody not gone? I think I've I think I've fought him. I think I've touched him with everybody. All right, come on, Lulu. Because I've got their celestial weapons, I don't have um. Ah, oh, darkness. That's annoying. Okay. Um. Yuna, come here. I guess it doesn't really matter if she has darkness. But whatever. Let's cure it anyway. I don't want to see her hunched over. It's sad looking. That's why the auto phoenix is so useful. Now I do not have to spend a turn doing that, right? Like, that's freaking awesome. Go 
that their overdrive's back up. Oh, he's landed, so he's going to die soon. Okay, let's bring Waka back in. I know he can't really do much. We'll just let him hold. And then Amuna, and you can Asuna him. Okay. Now that he's on the ground, he can't do that swoopy attack thing. Of course. Come on, Orin, we need to get your overdrive back up. We're just going to wail on him, basically, until he dies. <clears throat> there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Strato Avis. You get lots of experience, and these optional bosses can also have a chance to drop the dark matter. I didn't get any. I got two amulets and some gill and a ring, but that's basically you can farm dark armor that way. Now, I'm going to be obnoxious and sell um, as well as save in between. So we're going to, oh, oh, a four slot staff. Okay. I want to keep that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, exit. Let's see. No, not equipment. Items. Items is where I go to sort. There we go. So you can get some really good drops from these guys, as you can see. Okay, what formation do I want? Waka, Titus, and Orin. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. Back to area conquests. We're going to try a Malbro Menace. Now, don't worry. This thing is exactly as annoying as it sounds. Um, it is a Malbro, <laughs> and we hate them in the Omega Dungeon, and don't worry, he is similar. He's going to do the same thing as you see ambushed, um, but we have first strike with Orin, so I think if I remember right, I can provoke, I think I can provoke, and it will mess him up. I'm trying to remember if it's provoke or threaten. Oh no, he's immune, so he's still going to Putrid Breath. Maybe it's Threaten that makes him not Putrid Breath? I can't freaking remember. But you see how Orin has Ribbon? Orin don't got no status effects. He fine, okay? He fine. So that means we can bring in Yuna and we can Esuna, okay? So that's why you need the Ribbon Armor. That's why you need the Ribbon Armor. And why I like to have Orin having them before I attempt any of this stuff. Trying to just make my life a little bit easier, you know, with my knowledge of the game. Okay, we're back to normal already. Fabulous. Okay, now we're going to overdrive the heck and heck out of this guy. Oh, again. Good. I feel like I'm on a roll today. Let's see if we can actually beat him, though. Okay, good. All right, let's give him more. Give him more, give him more. We're gonna, I bet Fyraga, I bet Fyraga, let's do that. Rotate the stick, this is the worst motion. <sighs> do y'all remember the first Mario Party and when you had to do the mini games where you rotate the stick and you would get like the hole in your hand? Beverage Farm remembers. Let's pokey catch. <clears throat> All right. Go for it, Waka. Attack. Um, Kimari. 
why don't you come in here and you can do your overdrive too. We'll do... Um, fire breath. Why not? Mega gastric juice. Oh no. Poor thing. All right. Let's do... Let's do Waka's Overdrive. Ah, oh, dang it. Almost. He'll still do decent damage, though, because that's still a lot of hits. Just didn't quite get all of them. All right, then we're going to swap in Orin, just in case he decides to do something crazy. And we can banish Shingalade. There we go. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna bust out the overdrives on the optional bosses, like, what are you gonna do? Then we're gonna bust them out. Oh no! Don't eat Waka. It's okay. We have Auto Phoenix. We'll be fine. Thanks, Orin. You're a pal. All right, Lulu already has overdrive again, but I don't think Riku's gone. Let's get her in here and steal. You got the cure and I got the remedy. Mm, Yuna has already been in here. Okay, Luna, Lulu, come back. Let's do another Fury. Let's do another Fyraga Fury. She gained her overdrive back. That's the fast. Oh, it looks like that hurt. Glad I put Orin back in here. Okay. Um, I'm here, Yuna. Ribbon just makes life easier. You know, you put a ribbon in your hair and then you don't have to deal with any status effects. Wonderful life. Okay, let's um, heal Waka up. Mm. I want to bring Orin back in instead of doing an attack with Lulu. I need to heal him too. Just do a regular attack, it's fine. There we go. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. He says, this tastes bad. <laughs> you like a cat trying to eat things and then changing their minds. All right, let's bring Lulu back. Oh, for some reason I was doing her overdrive thing, but she don't got no overdrive right now. It's kind of nice that the putrid breath just kills Lulu, so she doesn't have to deal with any of that. <laughs> um. Okay. Come here, Yuna. He needs Esuna and heal. So we might as well bring her in. There we 
go. Okay, Orin can come back. Okay, I kind of want to get... Let me bring Titus in so I can get his overdrive back up. Before the next fight. Oh, that's fine. He was He was in the yellow anyways. As you can see with how long this this both of these have taken, auto haste would be really nice. <laughs> um, auto haste would be really nice uh, to have to go more turns, but we do not have enough things for that. But you can see how that would be cool. I need to see how many Phoenix Downs I have and maybe buy some more. I keep feeling like, my gosh, he's got to be dead soon. But he keeps not dying. There's a boss like this in WoW, just realized they still copied it. Oh, voodoo. Everything in WoW is stolen or copied. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> but part of what makes um, World of Warcraft and Blizzard so uh, good and successful is they know exactly what to copy. Or... Once upon a time, they did. Uh, I can't say I'm a huge fan of Blizzard in the here and the now. Um, but why Lulu didn't get on a Phoenix? I guess because two of them died. I don't know. Um, you know, once upon a time, their skill really was in knowing exactly what to copy and what would go good together in that regard. Don't really think they know that anymore. All right. Come here, Yuna. Uh, Kiraga. Gosh, I really thought our boy was closer to dead. I really, really did. But I'm actually going to be able to get Titus's overdrive, yeah, all the way up. Whatever, I guess we'll start overdriving on him again. Let's do some slots. Oops. Well, at least I got the last two. But yeah, Malbros are a, a staple of Final Fantasy. Like, they've been in basically all the Final Fantasy games, and they do kind of similar things in the sense that they all kind of, like, ugly breathe on you and um, eat you. <laughs> like this. <laughs> and they've been in a whole bunch of them. And they all kind of have these, like, lots of googly eye type of thing. All right, let's switch you back out for Lulu. Trying to get some hard hitting going on in here. Oh, I should have been double casting this whole time. Oops. Oh well, I guess I can start now. But let's overdrive. Are you dead yet? No. He's not dead yet. <laughs> wow. Wow. He just he just killed Waka from from an auto counter. Oh my god. That's too funny. <laughs> so fuck you, Waka. 
This is what you get. You're trying to hit me with your ball. I don't like it. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. Lulu hath no fury. Okay. Still not dead. He's not going to auto Phoenix. Am I out of Phoenix downs? Oh my God. I actually used up my Phoenix downs. Oh my God. Wow. Guess we're using a mega Phoenix. I have extras. How close to dead is he? Oh no. And now he's chow timing Orin. This is not good, you guys. I might start this fight over. So I do not want to be spending turns reviving. No. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Okay, we're gonna fire Aga Fury. <clears throat> I know what I'll do. We're gonna cheese the end of it. He's got to be close to dead. Yeah, he's still not dead. Okay, here we go. Cheese time. Excellent. Um, Let's let Giggles do the job. Destroying with Aeons is a valid strategy. The game lets you and encourages you to do this. It is part of Yuna's job to use her Aeons to fight fiends. So, cheese, but legal. Oblivion. <clears throat> Let's see if this kills it. Maybe I'll get an overkill. Because <laughs> it has to be close to dead. Like, it has to be. There's no way. It's taking too long. Yeah. Overkill. Nice. Thank you, Giggles. We love you. You're a beautiful lady. Okay, we got that one. So, buy weapons. Let's sell. Undefeated. Poison proof, slow proof, zombie proof, dark proof. I wish I would have gotten that for literally anybody else. Because Orin already has Ribbon. Useless. Alright, let's save. <clears throat> okay. Let's try the next one. Let's see how many of these we can beat before either we start dying or the or it's end of stream time. Now this is getting into parts of the game that I've either never done or only done once, so I really don't know it as well. So um, let's try Kotos. Yes, I'm sure. Let's go. All right. Um, I think it would be smart to start out with a power break. 
that seems right for these guys. Shit! I forgot to buy more Phoenix Downs. At least I saved right before him. Can I flee? Yes. I gotta buy more Phoenix Downs. Uh, buy items. Yep. We need all of those. Okay. Do I have, like, a bunch of random items that I don't need? Let's see. Definitely don't need no high potions. Restores 500, fully restores. I don't need turbo ethers for anything. Fully restores party, KO. I mean, those could be useful. Foul bed potions could be useful. I guess I really don't need this crap. Just get me more money. I mean, some of this is pretty useful, but like a lot of this is not. I don't need a... Is that an, like an extra map? I don't know. I need to think about some of this stuff and if I can sell it for money. That's gonna have to be something that I figure out. Okay, let's save. All right, now that I have Phoenix Downs, let's try that again. <clears throat> Auto Phoenix doesn't do you anything. Don't use it. Okay, by the way, that one we just fought, that was the Area Conquest of Kilika. We're going to do the Area Conquest for Meehan High Road next. So this Kotos is for Meehan High Road. All right. We're gonna overdrive him. Why not? I don't know why Oren didn't go first with his first strike, but he didn't. And we learned that power break doesn't work. I wonder if threaten or provoke does anything. Um, Don't mug, let's just steal. There, that's fine. Oh, he still punches her for stealing. That's so rude. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's see. Does threaten do anything for you? No, he's immune to threaten. He's just gonna punch Orin in the face. Okay. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Is there any way to stop him from doing that? Mm. We tried threaten. Let's try provoke. Will provoke make him stop? No, he's immune to that shit, too. All right. Come on, Lulu. Does magic make him punch?
Yes, he will come punch me for magic, too. He'll come punch me for anything. Okay. Let's try Aeon strategy. Come on, Plucky. Will he do this on Aeons? While she's summoning, um, I hear the dog making noises. I'll be right back, you guys. <clears throat> I, got, I made sure the dog was in front of some water. I think she was having trouble walking. <clears throat> Let's just try Sonic Wings. Let's see what happens. Now he just runs up and punches the Aeons, too. He's so punchy. He's so punchy. Punchy, no punching. <clears throat> Okay, let's do... It's Kiraga. That Yuna has... Full... I wanna do... What's up, Riri? You okay? You sound... It's, o it's okay, Riri. It's okay. She's crying about something. I don't know. I think she's just in pain. Um, we can do... <clears throat> We can mix this one map that we have with a distiller. Hey, it's okay. You're fine. Do I have one? I have curtains. Do I have any distillers? Even though he's going to come punchy me, I can at least do a lot of damage. I don't have distillers. What else could I do? <clears throat> Ree, you're okay. It's okay. You can lay down right there. Why don't I do... We'll do a grenade, and we'll do... Yeah, lots of mana spheres. Will mana sphere work? No. We need to use MP, HP, defense, or strength. We'll use an HP. Use one of these purple spheres. We got a lot of HP ones. We'll do this. Well, that did not do as much damage as I wanted it to. That was kind of a waste of time. Wow, and then he kills her right again. Okay. <clears throat> Rotate that stick round and round. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a ton of damage. We are going to grand summon our Maga sisters.
All right. Combine powers. Let's see how much Delta attack does. Mm, maybe that will be good. Man, he's about to go punch up the Maga sisters. I cannot believe it. Oh, because there's three of oh, he's gonna punch all three of them. Oh, no, he won't. Okay, whatever. Do as you will. Oh, they've taken a break. Oh, my word. Well, maybe Maga Sisters can do it. Yeah, because they'll auto life. Will she ever bring her her um, girlfriend back? I don't know. They, will Effie bring Kay back? Mega Strike. Oh, that was an achievement. A Steam achievement just popped up because I did so much damage. Bye, bye, Mega Sisters. Oh, that's right. She had auto life. Oh, but she taken a break. So now it's goodbye, Mega Sisters. You waste your turn, Effie. You waste your turn. You waste your turn. Okay, well that was something. That was something. <clears throat> okay, let's try some other breaks. We tried a power break. But we did not try an armor break. Maybe he can be armor broken. He cannot be armor broken. I stand corrected. But we can keep healing with Yuna, and we can get her overdrive again. That's definitely something we can do. And we can Firaga Fury! I don't know how you get higher than 7 on that without a turbo controller. I don't think that's possible. Okay, now she can Grand Summon again, and we'll Grand Summon Jingles. We don't use him very much, because I don't like to spend money on him, but we're going to use him. Okay, we're gonna pay him. I don't know. I never know how much to pay him. I know there's calculators for this, but I've never used one. We'll just pay him. We'll pay him 10,000. Do something cool, Jingles. Please. He did not do something cool. I 
I didn't do that right at all. I didn't do that right at all. I wasted her grand summon. Okay, whatever. Let's overdrive with Orin. Oh, that's why Lulu's goes up so fast, because it's when other people get hurt. But that's good, that's good. So she's good for this fight. All right. Kiraga on Orin. Nina can go up really fast. There we go. Okay. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need turbo controller to go faster than freaking seven. You okay down there, Vivi? You calm down now? You look like you calm down now. Okay. Let's do a better Grand Summon that I actually know what I'm doing. We're going to Grand Summon Giggles. What's up, lady? Meow. You'll hear that little meow meow. What's up, lady? You come to join me? You want to see Anima? Right there. Giggles. You want to see her? Yeah? You want in my lap? There you go. A lady. Okay, overdrive. Bye, lady. Okay, let's see what this does. Let's see if this does enough damage to do anything. Thank you, Anima. Thank you. You're a blessing. You're an absolute blessing. I love you, baby. Beautiful lady. Okay. That's three down. All right. Obviously, before doing this, I did not look up any strategies on these guys, and I've been kind of winging it. That's probably kind of obvious compared to how I usually play this game. So I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to actually look up some strategies and have some information for you guys like I normally do on a lot of these fights um, when it comes to these. So with, for the optional bosses, for the rest of them, I'm going to do that. But we clearly need to farm more. We need to get the auto haste. We need to get the auto protect. I'm doing sphere grid right now and then I'm going to I need to look at something in the monster arena. Oh, are we, did we use all the level four key spheres? I need to look at where to get more level four key spheres. Let me make myself a note. Okay, I need to farm some level four key spheres. I'm gonna keep him there because I wanna try to unlock that. Oh, that's a blank sphere. Okay, that's the sphere grid. Yes. Okay, definitely need to save. All right, we're gonna have to farm more for sure. Ah, oh, dang, I meant to check one thing in the, let's go back. I meant to check something. Back to the Calm Lands real quick. Because the best way to get light curtains for the auto protect is to steal from Ironclad or Tank It. 
in the species conquest. So I just want to see where those are. Let me ride. Basically, there's several ways to get the light curtains in the species conquest. It's steal from Ironclad or tank it, and then kill Fafnir. Um, but I, I remember what I wanted to try before I flew away. I want to check and confirm that I can get a turn with Riku. Or, um, for either of these ironclad or tank it. Yeah, tank it's here. Fafnir, you can kill him or you can steal from ironclad. Okay, let's see about stealing from tank it. Okay, Riku, okay, they get turns. Um, he has steel too. Light curtains, okay. Um, let's move in Waka. And let's steal again, okay. So you can only really steal once. Shoot, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to switch in Titus and flee. <laughs> but I think actually he can flee, yeah. There we go. Okay, so you get four light curtains each time. And then if you go to a, the customize, how many light curtains does it take to do the um, auto protect? I have 39 right now. Welcome in, Quasar Sevilla. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Um, my name is Karen Terry. On Thursdays, we do like um, basically whatever I want. I play a lot of chill games, RPGs, and things like that. We're playing Final Fantasy X right now. We're in the post game doing a bunch of optional bosses. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay, I need 70 light curtains. Okay, 70 light curtains. But what if I steal from Tank It? Do I get more than four? Do I get more than four if I steal from Tank It? Because I'm paying 8,000 no matter what. Oh no, Tankit was what I did before. So I stole from Tankit, I got four. If I steal from Ironclad, do I get more than four or do I get four? Oh, but Riku doesn't go first. Oh, but Orin has steel, so it's okay. Four light curtains. You get four light curtains either way. Okay, so I might as well do tank it because I get lots of turns before before that. Okay, so let's flee. So yeah, you get four of them. So basically I'm paying 8,000 gil for four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So let's do a little bit of that. Maybe we can at least put auto protect on somebody. Oh, Titus didn't even say anything that time. He was just like, bye. <clears throat> oh, why'd Titus go first? Interesting. I guess once you steal, it's like, you're not going to get another set. You're not going to get it again. Okay, one more time. One more time. Uh, 
This is very in-game. I only got the celestial weapons, but nothing too crazy to kill Dark Aeons or the bosses. Yeah, I, I usually don't do this either. Uh, but since it's on stream, I like I want to show everything, you know, like I've never even attempted doing the Dark Aeons in my personal playthroughs. So um, this is very new <laughs> for me. Um, we'll see. We just did the first three optional bosses in here. So we'll see. We'll see how much farther we go. All right, let's see. Or... Auto protect. Okay. If you need 70. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'm cons I'm going to consider maybe doing some farming off stream. Um because I just think there's only so much that we can do on stream. But I think I might do some farming off stream to get auto haste especially set up for everybody because I really really want that and maybe the auto protect too we'll see so I might do some of that off stream before we come back and do more um, of the optional bosses but at least we got we got Kotos right so the next one is Quirrell Regina so for those of you that love the Quirrell looks that will be the next one okay let's save all right, and we'll close the game out. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today for some Final Fantasy X. Next week, we'll be playing some more Final Fantasy X on Thursday. Um, and as far as the timing, it should be at 6.30, but we'll see, as I, guys told you, as I told you guys at the top of the stream, I'm gonna be busy all day on Thursday, but... Um, because of that travel, but I should be back in time for stream, but we'll see. I'll keep y'all updated on the Twitters. Speaking of which, if you would like to follow me, here's all of my socials. You can see um, where you can find me. I post all of my VODs to YouTube. So if you'd like to see uh, prior parts of my Final Fantasy X playthrough, you can go on there and find all of it. Um, and the main social media I use is Twitter. So I would recommend following there to get the latest updates. And join my Discord if you'd like to make sure that you always get notifications for my stream. On Saturday for Interstage Window, we are going to be doing part two of our Half-Blood Prince read-through. So we're going to be analyzing a, um, the way that the wider wizarding world is explored in that book. And I got some complaints, you guys. I have to say, I got some complaints. So be there if you want to hear them. <laughs> um, so... I'm looking at the people that are live and most of you, my friends that are live right now. Uh, thank you so much, Voodoo. Thank you so much. Most of my friends that are live right now are people that we have raided like super recently. So I think we're going to go raid this other Final Fantasy X streamer. I'm just going to wait for the ad to play out. But it says they're in the Beaconel part of the game. Um, and I love that part of the game. So let's see. Let's see where they're at. Oh no, they actually just raided out. Never mind. They're ending stream too. <laughs> uh, what about this person? Okay, this looks cute. This looks cute, and they're in uh on the Makalania Lake. They're um okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this person. We're gonna raid Tarvold's quest. All right, you guys, so give him a lovely Karen Terry welcome. You can use your raid emojis right here. All right, um, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you later. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.